Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Hopping into Game of Thrones, episode three of season six, very quickly after the last one. Igly simply cannot wait. We're trying to cram this in before a Shogun watch session. So, uh, last episode, well, yeah, that's one of the big moments in the show. Lord Commander, back from the dead, Undertaker style, waking up. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's really kind of the biggest thing from that episode. We get the Tyrion, I drink and I know things. Um, but the only thing that matters is John waking up. And so mm -hmm. a lot of underlying stuff was discussed at the end of the post discussion for the last episode. So check that out for Igly's reaction to that stuff. Um, but I don't think we need to spend much time. We need to figure out we Igly needs we. to figure out what the hell is going on. And so I think we should get right into it. Do you boys agree? I disagree. I can. Oh, he's he thought of something else. This guy, dude, this guy, this guy. Uh, I'm still riding the high of last episode and how I was like completely on it. So I'm just, I'm I'm feeling myself a little bit. Blake's like, oh look at this guy. Even if I broke and find a nut once. <laughs> <laughs> Empty the mag, brother. <laughs> um, but I guess my main question that I'm looking to see answered, John's back, which I'm ecstatic for, was anything lost? Cause we've seen there's there can't be something without nothing. And th there's got to be something missing. That's it. I think uh, Beric Dondarrion said, because I think he, he'd been brought back like, what, five or six times, Blake? Every yeah, time like, he, he came back. He loses a piece of himself is what he like, vis like I, if I recall, he said. Yeah. What that exactly is, I don't know. And I'm a little bit concerned, but hey, I'd rather have him. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he's back. Yeah. Send it. All right. Well. If you enjoy these reactions, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that noti bell so you don't miss when they go live. We have four weeks early access available on Patreon right now. Check that out description in the description below. We also have a link to join our free Discord and links to all of our socials. Check those out as well. Mm. Let's get into this. Let's, Let's do go. it. All right, I got to get my pizza rolls. 45. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be hilarious? <laughs> What's that? If we just don't see John for the rest of the season. You mean like they did Brand last season? <laughs> yeah. That could be John breathing. <laughs> He's like, yo. He can't believe it. That must be crazy. You step out of the room, step back in. Cheeks. I guess he. I guess he lost the loincloth. I did see partial nudity as a uh, warning at the beginning. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> what is he thinking? Feeling his scars? It's just god ah, damn bro is built jacked goals they stopped me yeah they did Ollie you put a knife in my heart let's run it back I shouldn't be here the lady brought you back after they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? Oh, life beyond death? Nothing. Hmm. There was nothing at all. The Lord let you come back for a reason. Stannis was not the prince who was promised. Hell yeah. Someone has to be. Ding, ding, ding. You got a winner right here. Could you give us a moment? Yeah, put the Lord of Light stuff on the back burner. We gotta like address like, and come to terms with what the hell just happened and what we do next. Cause he's clearly shaken by it all. You were dead. And no, you're not. That's completely mad, <laughs> seems to me. I can only imagine how it seems to you. <laughs> I did what I thought was right. You weren't wrong. And I got murdered for it. Now I'm back. Why? I don't know. 
Maybe we'll never know. What does it matter? You go on. You fight for as long as you can. You clean up as much of the shit as you can. I don't know how to do that. I failed. Good. Now go fail again. <laughs> It's one of the oh, hardest monologues in the show right my there. God. Address the haters and supporters. <laughs> Torment and disbelief. They think you're some kind of god. <laughs> I mean, man who returned from the dead. They are wrong. Oh, god. I know that. I saw your pack. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of god would have a peck of that small? Bro! <laughs> it was cold, <laughs> alright? Yeah. <laughs> He's got Johns. <laughs> Johns, John has Johns. Your eyes are still brown. Is that still you in there? I don't think so. You don't even know yet. Hold off on burning my body for now. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> you sure that's still you in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are we going? You remember where John gave him permission to go? Are you alright? Am I forgot. <laughs> he is not holding up well. <laughs> Old town. Old town. The captain says it's the most beautiful. Oh yeah, to go read all the goddamn books. Yep. Are you going to vomit again? No, 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 no. Um, maybe Citadel doesn't admit women. There won't be a place for you there. Half a little sound. Where's she going though? If we're not going to Old Town, where are you taking me? To my home. Oh. Horn Hill. Wherever you go, I go too. That's what you said. Don't lie to her. Don't disappoint little Sam. I said that because I want you and little Sam to be safe. That's all I want. To become a maester so I can help John when the time comes. So you'll be safe. Us and everyone else in the world. I don't care about them. Well, no, I do. I don't really. The trash. If you think it's for the best, we trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. <laughs> I'd never do that to the father of my son. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin the moment. You're ready to meet a god. I already met one. Oh, okay. That's my father. The man beside him is Howland Reed. Howland Reed. His father. The name sounds familiar. He's not the god I was talking about. But his name still sounds familiar. Sir Arthur Dane. The sword of the morning. <laughs> that shit sounds tough. Father said he was the best swordsman he ever saw. Lord Stark. I looked for you on the trident. And we weren't there. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Our prince wanted us here. What's here? Where's my sister? Hmm. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And now it begins. Two? No. Now it ends. God damn. Nice. God damn, bro. Four V one. Easy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Dude. Ducks. You got the 1v1 now. Watch up. Watch your kick. Blake fighting the boss after you die. <laughs> That's actually exactly how this goes. He's better than my father. <laughs> father. My father beat him. Did he? Did he? I know he did. Oh! Bigly back from the dead to finish the <laughs> boss off that he fluffed. <laughs> he stabbed him in the back. Hmm. Dishonorable. Damn. I want to see where he's going. Time to go. Father! Huh? No way. He doesn't see him. Okay. He said no. He hit the hard stop. Why did you do that? Take me back there. I want to go back. No. I wonder if he stays... If he gets stays he into it too much. Maybe you must learn. Learn what? Everything. Everything. I was gonna say, if he stays in there too long, will, like, he essentially become, like, the old man, the branches will grow through him? Okay. Really? That's crazy. Who, who the hell built that shit? Same person who built the Titan of Bravos. <laughs> this is where all the widows chill. Wait till they find out she's rocking Steve. Yes. They don't even know that. Mm. He's been reborn. Is Kal Savo a dragon now? If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. My job is to find the right. Oh, answers. is she the one that was murdering? Like, do you know how mm -hmm. I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Vala. That's your name, isn't it? Vala. I know who you are and what you've done. The spider. The Unsullied and the Second Sons are foreign soldiers brought here by a foreign queen to destroy our city and our history. I understand. Mm. I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. Dom. Such a handsome boy. Oh, Those man. Brown eyes. Good luck keeping the ladies away. You did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. You got a snitch. What do you know? I've already booked passage for a woman and her young son. Hmm. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. It's a pretty Though big bag. I'm afraid we'll have to ask one of our leather-clad friends back in to carry it. A new life for you and Dom. Or... Easy decision. So? What should we do while we wait? To pass the time. What should we do? What should we talk about? Hobbies? You spend a great deal of time together. What would you be talking about if I weren't here? <laughs> patrol. Patrol. <laughs> when I am going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol, what we capture on patrol. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. I love Grey Worm. A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? Me. Just now. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it did it land like he thought it. <laughs> no conversations. Let's play a game. You don't play games, either one of you, ever? Games are for children. My they master Krasnitz would sometimes make us play games. There, that's a start. Only the girls. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, of course, not that. <laughs> Drinking games. We do not drink. Until you do. No drinking. We can play without drinking. We're running out of options. It's a wonderful game. I make a statement about your past. If I'm wrong, I drink. Ah, uh, here we go. And if I'm right, maybe we can't play without drinking. I was busy learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy, some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai. With help from their friends in Valencia. So everyone. You see? Can you little birds get a message to the good masters of Vassipal, the wise masters of Yonkai, and the benevolent enslavers of Volantis? Men can be fickle, but birds I always trust. <laughs> Interesting. It's a really funny blooper of Tyrion messing up that <laughs> scene over and over. Really? I need to see that. How's your mother's jaw? Better. And your father? No one's seen him. And no one will. It worked out rather nicely. Well, what? Will Faris ever come back? He called us his little birds. Huh? He gave us sweets. Guess what I happen to find today? Candied plums and all. <laughs> <laughs> if any of your friends like sweets or need help, they can always come to me. All I need in return are whispers. This is how he did it, huh? No need to be afraid. This is Sir Gregor. I'd, I'd be afraid. He's friends with all my friends. Because you understand what we're saying. I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. I think you heard that. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear. Uh, that list is probably I long. Want to know who they yeah, are. half the city, bro. I want to know where they are. As bad as Lord Varys was, Kyben is worse. <laughs> I told him all. Hater, him. dude. He's arrogant, dangerous. You don't get thrown out of the citadel. How's Pycelle live this long, man? And no one listened to my advice. And what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. Speak up. We never sanctioned this this experiment. And I, for one, think it will be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. Keep yapping. Bro! <laughs> Can I help you? Why are you here? My mother has invited me here. We've got a lot to discuss, all of us together. And seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. No, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Okay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. I mean. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, no. What's he doing? I am the king. You are. And what does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. Do you know who told me that? Your mother. My mother who is unclean. My mother who still needs to atone after all you've put her through. There's a great deal of falsehood in Cersei, you know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Okay. It's a great gift. One I never had. Sucks. Envy. One more thing for me to atone for. May I do mine? It's, it's my knees. Oh, okay. I don't really want to see Sparrow Schmidt walking through the city. <laughs> A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can, and no one is wiser than the gods. My grandfather once said something similar. <laughs> Except for the part about the gods. Yeah. The gods work through him whether he knew it or not. As they work through I'll, I'll think I'll think Tywin was a religious man. <laughs> There's so much good in all of us. The best we can do is to help each other bring it out. Complete ops of his brother. Tywin might have been the most literal dude. Listen. Train your ears. Who are you? 
Who were you before you came here? Aya Stark. <laughs> My God, bro. Tell me about Aya Stark's family. She had one sister, Sansa, and four brothers. <laughs> okay. What was that for? Three brothers. Huh? Rob, Bran, Rickon, and a half brother, John. That's a full brother. And where Don't are matter. They now? Tell me about the hound. Oh. Also dead. Oh. Knocked off the stage. He's getting knocked around. Him to die. He was on her list. He was not on her list anymore. Oh. Didn't she want him dead any longer? No. She did and she did not. Who else was on Aya Stark's funny little list? <laughs> Cersei Lannister. <laughs> Gregor Clegane. Walder Frey. We got some overlap on our list. That's a short list. Are you sure you're not forgetting someone? Which name would you like a girl to speak? Herself? <laughs> Oof. Getting better. Oh, you're in trouble now. The blind bandit is here. <laughs> I don't think she blind said- Blind bandit was such a hard name. If a girl tells me her name, I will give her eyes back. A girl has no name. Come. Hmm. What now? She passed the test? If a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. This could kill her, yeah? Yeah. Eyes? The blind bandit sees. It's a miracle. No one. No one. With conviction. Mm. Seeing which is a distraction. Blade man. Famously loyal house. Famously loyal to the Starks. And you? Lord Karstark? When my father became Warden of the North, your house refused to pledge their banners. Your father was a Fair. <laughs> and that's why you killed him. I might have done the same to my father if he hadn't have done me the favor of dying on his own. My father was poisoned by our enemies. Hmm. Mm. Curious. Why have you come to Winterfell? The bastard Jon Snow led an army of wildlings past the wall. Where farther north than any of you f <laughs> Wildlings come down, we always have to fight them first. The colder it gets, the farther south those go f will roam. <laughs> okay. It won't take them long to get here. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get Jon Snow leading them, maybe. He knows his place better than we ever will. Mm. Swear loyalty to me as Warden of the North. And we will fight together to destroy the bastard and all his wildling friends. I'm not kissing your f***ing hand. <laughs> Traditionally, a banner man kneels before his lord. Why would I trust a man who won't honor tradition? Your father honored tradition. Knelt for Rob Stark, called him King of the North. And stabbed him in the back. Was Rob Stark right to trust your father? I've got a gift for you. Remember the a tall guy? guy? I prefer redheads. Who? A girl. Aye. Ah, hold that thought. <laughs> A wild one. Whoa. And a boy. Nice and young. No, Boy, dude. Cars not like some. My <laughs> cars. It's, it's been a few years, huh? Who's this? Recon Stark. We're just bringing everyone back this season. How do I know that's Rickon Stark? Dude. Okay, Car Stark's gotta go. That's the Umbers. The Umbers <clears throat> gotta go, my fault. But the Car Stark's gotta go too. Everyone gotta go. Welcome home, Lord Stark. That is not so, good. So the tall guy who calls John or Rob King of the North loses his fingers at the dinner. It's time. Are you serious? 
It's time. You don't get to speak, brother. Alright. You hate lore. I forgot. Oh. If you have any last words... Oh! Time, you shouldn't be alive. It's not right. Neither was killing me. Wait, four bodies, but six stab wounds? Could you write it? Tell her I died fighting the wildlings. No. He died a traitor. I had a choice, Lord Commander. Mm hmm. Betray you or betray the Night's Watch. Done both. You brought an army of wildlings into our lands. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. <laughs> See you later then. I'm sure you would, Sir Alistair. I fought. I lost. Now I rest. But you, Lord Snow, you'll be fighting their battles forever. Yeah. No words said to Ollie. No words need to be said. He's doubting himself. Oh my god. God damn. You're not gonna forget that. Lynching an 11 year old kid. Burn the bodies. You should burn the bodies. I mean, you're smart, Igly. You should. You should. What do you want me to do with this? Wear it. Oh. Burn it. Whatever you want. You have Castle Black. I guess if he died, his, o his oath is done, right? You're so smart. My watch is ended. Good luck, brother. Damn. Wow. What now? That's really interesting. The purpose of him coming back, the thing that he could, I, f I feel like he could have done is still unite the Night's Watch and the free people for what's going to come, but him abandoning the wall is not something I expected. I don't know if that's the right move. I'm going to have to think about that one some more. I mean, part of me was wondering if they just let him live. He would just live up, let him live. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially if he, if he was dipping. If he had the intention to dip afterwards. Uh, I mean, but like... Uh, uh, nothing's to say like they wouldn't have tried like the same thing again. Yeah. So, I think I'm really the ahead. only one that I could see him maybe let live is Ollie, because I mean he is just a kid. Uh, mm -hmm. he he knew what he was doing, but at the same time, like you know the the other ones, especially Alistair is just a a, a hater. Um, yeah. of Jon Snow from the get-go before he even let the wildlings through. Ollie had his family murked by the wildlings like right in front of him. So mm -hmm. that kind of like you know set the hatred within him and he never uh, I, I think it was it was Dava or no it was Sam who he had the talk with was like they're just like us you know they're they're good and bad. Mm -hmm. to, to him, just all bad, and ultimately he struck the final blow on John. So, yes, you know he he had the right to kill him, but like if he lets him live and leaves, you know, is mm -hmm. Ollie gonna grow up and, and go for round two and try to kill him again after John yeah. shows him mercy? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's not a, it's not a fun way to end an episode. For sure. So, uh, I guess uh, for the rest of the episode, 
Um, damn, where the hell did we start? <laughs> uh, where we ended. Where we ended? Okay. What do you mean? We started at Castle Black. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's where we started. Uh, I mean, I've spoken my thoughts. I'm curious to see what sort of state uh, John's in. Uh, and I mean, him removing himself from Castle Black, the motives of, like, as to why, whether he's just fed up with it all. Uh, I was still, I was fully expecting him to take up the helm again. We'll see where that goes. Because even, like, Sir Davos talking to him was really interesting. Uh, because the man is just in disbelief of what happened. Uh, and, like, I guess he's shook by the fact that he felt like he was doing the right thing and he was stabbed in the back for it. Understandable. I guess playing into the part of, like, making... Playing into the final decision for him to leave. But still. Um, besides that, the Arthur Dane. Arthur Dane is that his name? Yep. Sword of the Morning. Stabbed in the back. Crazy. Uh, crazy how the victors write the stories, you know? And, yeah, the reason Howl and Reed, the name sounded familiar to you because that's uh, Jojen and Mira's father and I think mm, Jochen yes. told Bran, you know, my dad and your dad were friends. I see. Yo. Um, sick fight. Dude was wh like whipping those two swords around. Crazy. Um, but like f further cementing, like, like we're kind of further confirming like my thoughts of like Bran not wanting to not wanting to face the real world and just growing obsessed with these visions where he's essentially whole again uh but it's it's time to it's time to learn and then wake up you got too much stuff to do you you got to be the wisdom uh and the starks need to come together again i f i hate that osha asha it's been so long. Asha? Osha. I know we, we usually say Asha, but this is a, this is like seasons ago. I remember getting like several comments saying it's actually pronounced Osha. So, so I'm got, glad I, I got, remembered to say that. I got gaslit to being wrong. Yeah, because I'd okay. always thought her name was Asha when I watched through her. I don't know about Blake, but if you listen closely, they actually say Osha. Osha. Like the... Yeah. Yeah. Osha and... Rickon. Rickon. Um, I hate, I hate that. I absolutely detest that they're in Ramsey's grasp. I like that is disgusting. I don't. I am going to. I'm gonna hate. I, I feel like I'm gonna hate some upcoming episodes. I, I, I mm. Mm. It's not like we're gonna storm down there with John to like free Winterfell unless. The wildlings are at his side. It would... Dude, things are getting way too... Complicated now. With, like, characters coming back into the fray. Um, seeing Varys work was interesting. Learning about his little birds. Being children. Like, just kind of hearing stuff on the streets. Also interesting. Uh, but, I mean, he's not a bad guy. He's a pretty... I've, I've uh, Varys. He it seemed like he was a little bit sinister in in that interrogation, but he he's a pretty fair man. He gives people an out. He cares about people for the most, like from what we've seen. Uh and like he's like he know. I mean, he know he understands how things go. If she snitches, she's dead. So he she offers him, uh, not her. Uh, he offers her and her son a way out. So, cool to see him work. Uh, entertaining scene between Tyrion uh, trying to make small talk with everybody and failing completely. And, yeah. I mean, what else? Uh, the conversation between Tommen and the High Sparrow. I think, I think Tommen's about to turn to God. And He's he's getting the wires crossed of 
the things Tywin said moments before his death. And now with the High Sparrow is cooking. There's value of like of having good counsel, but I, I don't know. I think High Sparrow is gonna is is gonna weasel weasel his way into Tommen, into being uh, into like furthering his goals, his ambitions, and then some cool scenes with Arya. I know some other stuff happened, but I don't really have many notes on that stuff. I mean, there's a scene with Danny as well. Brief brief uh but yeah last thing i'll talk about really quickly is a scene with Arya. uh essentially not like having been blinded i guess she's able to uh turn towards a faceless god easier not having vision to distract her and is confronting her past little by little and then confirm like while well, i guess like Kind of confronting her past, which she's kind of put off, and then now apparently leaving it behind to become no one. And because of that, she's gone her sight back. Now what happens? I don't know. There's too there's too much to be seen. But yeah. I I hate I hate Ramsey so much, dude. I'm getting in line, bro. If it feels if it Ramsey getting stabbed by people like I put like put me in the like put me in line brother. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, you're saying um the tall guy that calls Rob King in the north. Do you, yep. do you not remember him? The like I re- I remember his, a guy. He's great John. He's white-headed. Gets his hands bit off at and dinner. And he goes like your steak is bloody tough and he starts laughing. After getting his fingers bit off, it, it, that might have happened. Yeah, I, okay. I, there. Anyway, that's Umber. That's great, okay. John Umber. Okay, the guy we just met that put Summer's head on the table is Small John Umber. Small John Umber. Yeah. Okay. Big John, Small John. All right. Great John. A lot of great, great and Small John. A lot of Johns. Yeah, and so they kill him off screen. Like he he dies of old age. Okay. Um. Yeah, I detest several things at this point in the show. Um, but I'll keep it mostly we- to myself. Okay. But killing a character like that off screen, kind of stupid. I didn't know. Okay. He like played a greater role in the books. He does. It's not even that he played a bigger role because he did, but like at this point we're so far off what happened in the books Mm -hmm. um like they're just writing their own shit and it's like you don't see asha and the uh rickon like they weren't even in season five Mm -hmm. they get brought back like oh yeah we forgot about them here you go yeah and and so I, there's a lot of things about season six that I really like, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of things at this point in the show that are glaring oversights that I'm not harping on because it's your first watch of the show. Mm-hmm. You should enjoy it as it comes. Mm-hmm. But for those book readers, for the people that actually give a shit about the show that are watching, like, yeah, a lot of that stuff. And this is one of those things like great John Umber isn't that big of a deal. In the books, but his role is so much more than, oh, yeah, he kicked the bucket off screen because we needed a character to die to introduce this slimy sleazeball, small John. So anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Happy to be here. Have you ever seen? I think first play. I guess the execution. Mm. That's my second favorite scene. That or Varys. Getting to actually see Varys like blackmail someone is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Ned flashback is my first favorite oh, scene. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, would you my like fault. to make a uh, revision? I, I'll make an addendum. 
Yeah. Uh, the by sword the way, of warning is mm -hmm, hard. Peak. Yeah. Hard. Shame he got stabbed in the back, but there there was no other way. That fight was going to be won. Mm -hmm. Ned um, needed some plot armor. Yeah, he, he needed it in season one. <laughs> True. Did So this, this is very small, Igly, but si since you said uh, what after the scene, um, when Kyburn is talking to the first kid, one of Varys' little, what, what does he call him? His little birds. Little bird. Uh, he implied that he had his father killed for I see. beating the mother. Okay. Yeah. I just I just wanted to say that in case you didn't pick up on it. Thank you. I got you. He got me. He like you got me? No. Okay, he don't got me. I despise you. True. Okay. So we good? We good? Yeah. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when these uploads go live. Four week early access on Patreon right now. Check that out in the description below. Link to join our free Discord and all of our socials as well. See you guys in the next one. See ya. See ya.